Hi, right, Lex Coach Mike here, LexCoachMike.com. Uh, in this short video, we're going to talk about uh, ways to attack a zone. In here, we're going to attack it with a 2 3 1 offense, moving two continuous motion triangles. Um, a lot of coaches love to go 1 4 1 against the zone. If you're looking for another alternative, hopefully, you like this idea. Lax Coach Mike, LaxCoachMike.com. Our base offense, um, as you mentioned, I generally play without a crease guy. Um, it just so happens, one of the teams I coach, we got this guy that's a vintage crease guy um, and really gets handcuffed for the ball outside. Uh -huh. So he can score from inside. I just tell him to go stay in the crease. Yeah. Because outside he's a liability, actually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but then the other thing here is, you know, a couple years ago when I was coaching at McIntosh, there was a team from Washington State came to Atlanta. Seconds or six seconds, this guy would rotate in, this guy would rotate out, this guy would rotate here, this attackman would rotate here, this attackman would rotate here, this guy would rotate here. So, in essence, he had these two triangles. They would come in, get open, look for a shot. If it wasn't there, just continue running. Like I said, literally in, in somewhere from six to eight seconds in duration. And then the triangles continued to move. All right. And Alpha Red had a very difficult time. Releasing. You know, this guy would stay with him, and then this guy would here be here before he could get back in. And what they were forcing the, the zone to do was to release low and release high and pick up in two spaces within 10 yards of each other. Yeah. It was ingenious. And it just so happened that I watched that game from the press box with uh, Coach Pete. Mm -hmm. And from up high, you could see it so clearly. Okay? Um, I always have a hard time in this set of uh, getting these guys to consistently rotate. Yeah. I mean, my midi that goes in the crease you know, he looks like a poster child for Coleman. He's got a camper, a tent, two <laughs> sleeping bags. Yeah. You know, he goes down there, he's going to be there. Yeah. Right? Um, so one of the tricks that I've used in coaching, and your team may or may not be ready for this, is that I tell my middies after the third rotation, or maybe after the second rotation, switch directions. Because now, when that midfield's on the field, let's say for a minute and a half, two and a half minutes, depending on when you want to pull them, they want, they're already counting. Is this my third time in the crease, my second time in the crease? I want to make sure I get at least a two because we want to go the other way. Right. And it's kind of a dumb mindset, but it's a little trick that worked for me, coaching-wise. You know, because if you keep harping on the kids, you've got to keep moving, you've got to keep moving, you've got to keep moving. Right. They don't move, you keep harping. They don't move, you keep harping. Pretty soon, all they're hearing is right. so I try to give you something different to think about. After each guy's in the crease one time, let's switch directions. You know? And that, for whatever reason, has worked for me. I don't know if it'll work for you, but it keeps them moving. Okay? 